Wait a minute, what's that guy doing? He's leaving all his stuff there? Is it gonna get stolen? Iron Man saves the Earth. Batman saves Gotham City. And I... Save foreign tourists. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. You want some nice coffee? <laughs> I'm so terrible at these intros. Hello and welcome to the Soul Survival Guide. I'm Paul and I'm here to teach you the words and expressions that real Koreans use every day. If you can remember these words, you're gonna have an awesome traveling experience in Korea. <sighs> when traveling, you could never miss out on this. There's nothing quite like enjoying a hot coffee in a nice coffee shop. And whichever Korean attraction you go to, there'll always be a nearby coffee shop. However, Korean coffee shops have their own flavor and things to keep in mind. Let's go find out what. Hi, uh, I'll take an Americano, please. 여기 있습니다. Oh, what's this? What is this for? Hey, I'm um, sorry. I think you made a mistake. I don't know why you gave me this. Oh, <laughs> that's a buzzer. Actually, once your coffee is ready, we're gonna make it buzz. So that way you know that it's ready. After ordering a coffee, you'll immediately get a buzzer. When your coffee is ready, the buzzer will stop buzzing and that signals that it's time to go get your coffee. What does that mean? That means you can go find a seat. There's no need to wait in front of the counter. Whoa! Oh man, that surprised me. Okay, so this means the coffee's ready. All right, let's go get that coffee. Being able to comfortably sit while waiting for your coffee is pretty neat, right? However, not all coffee shops use the buzzer system. For those that don't, once your coffee is ready, the barista will say, coffee is ready, or Americano, chumbi desu, coffee chumbi desu. Hey, it's not opening. Uh, what's happening here? Okay, all right, let's see. Uh, open sesame. Open sesame. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not gonna work. Hey, I'm sorry, but like the bathroom door is blocked. Is that normal? Why is it blocked? Toilet, uh, toilet door code here. And 6027 star and paper. There are two important codes to obtain whenever you're at a Korean coffee shop. The first is the bathroom door code, and the second is the Wi Fi password. Luckily, they're both very easy to obtain. There are two places where you could find the Wi Fi password. The first is on the invoice, and the second is usually on the counter of the coffee shop. If it's not there, Often, it'll be on the wall. Wait a minute, what's that guy doing? He's leaving all his stuff there? Is it gonna get stolen? Wow, he's back and absolutely nothing bad happened. His stuff is still there. Usually when you leave your seat, it's important to bring your belongings with you to prevent theft. However, in Korea, there really isn't this kind of worry. You can leave your belongings on the table and nothing's gonna happen to them. Tourists often admire about how safe Korean society is. However, let's not exaggerate. If ever you have to go to the bathroom or leave somewhere while you're at the coffee shop, please bring your belongings with you. That way, you'll feel safer. 
Today we got to learn a little bit about coffee culture in Korea. Although it's not that different with other countries, there are a few details to keep in mind like the buzzer system, the Wi-Fi password, and the bathroom door code. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. Next week on the Soul Survival Guide, we'll be teaching some more Korean language and culture tips. And you know what? These days the weather is getting more chilly. So if you could go to a nice coffee shop and enjoy a hot coffee, that will be awesome. Have a nice day, guys. Have a nice season. <laughs>